Yo, 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 welcome to another edition of One on One with Bunny McBuckets. We got my boy Doe Cal in this yo. motherfucker, bruh. Man, One of the coldest man. artists in LA, man. Thank you so much for pulling up, bro. I appreciate you, man. Absolutely. How you absolutely. feeling today? My man came through with the Bruce. Oh, yeah, man. We ain't got no sponsors, so I ain't gonna show what we drinking and shit, you know? Right. But clink that up for me one time and let's yes, sip it. Ah, shout out Roko behind the cameras. Like that? Gang. Oh, man. God damn, man, what you been up to, bro? Man, I ain't seen you in so long, man. You've yeah. been out here dropping music. You dropped the album. Right, 13 right. tracks on their ass, bro. That's what it was. Been in rotation. I, I was playing it uh, today after our uh, before, uh, after my last interview. Um, yeah. The girls that was in here, they was like, yo, who the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, he on his way. <laughs> That's the homie That's on love. his way. That's love, though. That's yeah. love. I appreciate yeah, that, Yeah, I was man. telling you, man, I got a couple of songs that I can't listen to just once. Like, right, you know what right, I'm right. I was actually, how long ago did you make that I Don't Know No More song? Yo, that was actually that was probably like three three years ago. Cause I heard that beat a long time ago, bro, and yeah, I was like, "Yo, yeah, when yeah. you dropping this shit?" <laughs> yeah, that shit that shit dropped. I'm like, "Yes." I shit. appreciate that. That's one of my favorite. My boy Pat, shout out my boy Pat and uh, Tadashi on that beat. Oh, Tadashi on that too. Yeah, yeah I remember Tadashi. Him too. I ain't seen yeah, him that's in the boy. Couple years, he was cool. He was that's cool. That's the boy for real, man. So. Yeah, yeah you got a crazy. dope squad over there, man. Like you know, what I'm saying Patches, uh, Samson. Samson on the beat? Like, yeah, how, that, what, that'd be go? crazy. Uh, he got a lot. What is, that, is that right, Samson? <laughs> is that right, Samson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. He's killing it out here with the beats and the grow, too. I see you, bro. Hey, got, man. The, got the weed, uh, got the room smelling that good. That man is a wizard. You know what I mean? That man is a super wizard. Yeah, man. So shout out to all shout the homies. Shout out to everybody shout out here, Shout out to my man. brothers, man. So uh, you are originally from Cali, right? Yep. Southern California. You know what I mean? Inland Empire. See, that threw me all the way off when I first heard that shit. Yeah. I'm like, the you? Inland Empire. What the <laughs> fuck? That kind of shit y'all niggas on? You know oh, Game mean? of Thrones shit, huh? Right, right. The Inland Empire, you know, it's the best place in the world. Uh, and uh, what cities make up, like, the Inland Empire? So, Redlands, Highland, San Bernardino, Riverside, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so, I've been out there a few times. I've been out you, there a you few should times. Know, you so, should know the it's Inland a different Empire vibe. It's definitely point. a different vibe than L.A. for sure, bro. Right. No, it's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, wow, shit, I ain't from L.A., I'm just in L.A., you know what I mean? Inland Empire, you know, born and raised, most definitely. It's a lot of, a lot of dope people coming out from there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of genuine artists, uh, you know, now, and that have paved the way through the game, doing amazing stuff out here, too, as well, man. Uh, shit, my boy Jay Craig going crazy with the XK Hoops. You might have seen him as Snoop Dogg on All Eyes on Me type shit. All types of niggas going crazy in the IE, bro. That's dope. That's dope. And Hit boy have, from the IE. Like, Hit boy from IE. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all got a. Y'all. Y'all definitely got a line about that. Yeah, sure, Christian right? Rashad. Nigga, we could. We could. We could drop names. Nigga, about the IE. He said Christian Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, bro. They don't know about that Christian Rashad, bro. They're killing it with the cozies, man. All day. I need to get my order in, man. Shout out Christian, bro. Straight up, a genius with the fucking uh, clothing, man. It's crazy. For real, man. That dude's special. And you on the same shit too, man. And the uh, the graphic designing, man, is crazy too, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you know, let me dive into that. <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah. So, Spit your shit. Talk uh, your man. Game. Yeah, absolutely. You dig? So, man, I, I used to be in my dorm room in Santa Barbara, you know, just... On it, bro. Just UCSB. Creating, you know what I mean? So, uh, the CC, matter of fact. We didn't go to UCSB. No UCSB? We oh, went all the way there for the CC. You know Ooh. what I mean? Well, let me shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I spent a lot of time out there, bro, just freestyling, like chilling, you know, um, doing graphic design and photography, you know, for a lot of my time, just trying to, you know, improve, just build the world. You know what I mean? Um and yeah, so I spent a lot of time doing that, as just as much as rapping. You feel me? And all this, you know. So yeah, it's been a dope process. You know what I mean? It's been a dope uh, journey to be able to be in that those moments, remembering, you know, trying skipping out on parties, trying to skip out on things to get better. And just recently, you know, got got to be able to do like grand pieces and shit, and really just like. Oh, See yeah, those been selling the art. You, you got shit. I mean? You got shit hanging on people's walls now, huh? Man, it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing just to see that in real life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. When you working in the computer, 
it's not, you know, it doesn't really feel real. Obviously, you be in it, you be right. cooking up your shit, but man, when when you see something grand, it means big. Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, shit feels different when you see every uh, somebody else appreciating what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know what you bring to the table. You know what you should, what you're doing is crazy. What you're doing is innovative, thoughtful. You know what I'm saying? Artistic. But when somebody else comes that doesn't even know you, you know what I'm saying? A stranger just be like, "Yo, what the fuck is that? Who made that? That's crazy. I need to hang it on my wall, bro." Yeah, that's so love. With it. <clears throat> that's that's it's love, bro. I mean, that's definitely a good thing too, as you're uh, you're being an artist that you can make your own visuals and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was saying like a couple of your. Uh, graphic design videos and shit is dope. Just like the one with the head, you know. What I'm I saying? appreciate hell like, yeah. Even uh, there was one where you kind of like you put a face over your face, something like that. I can't think of it right now, but uh, right, right, right. Crazy too, bro. So I'm man, just, I appreciate. Like, man, I need to tap in, bro. I appreciate that shit, shit for real. Yeah. Absolutely, hit me up, man. Uh, man. So really, how it started, like the root of it, I feel like, uh, it's just not too many people are gonna do it for you. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, if you if you can you know I really love creative vision you know what I mean that's one of the coolest things about artists to me you know what I mean from how you how you paint that picture you know what I mean your words are painting the picture and if the picture can relate to the damn words it's it's like a magical situation exactly you know what I mean so I I really love that part about hip hop about music so I just wanted to uh to do to do that do it all you know in that sense so. It's good being a one stop shop, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're coming, when you're st- uh, coming up as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Because you might not have the bread to just be like bringing everybody in or just like outsourcing a bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying? That is true. That yeah, is true. With me, like I'd nah, be just editing to, my just own Just for shit. the record, too, like I thank God that I'm that people say that I'm good, bro. Mm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because like, it's it's not about. I don't think about doubting. I don't, I wouldn't say I would doubt myself. You dig? More of a verification. It's more of a verification. It's though, just like, like you know yo, it's just an unbelievable thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just do it because I love it. I do it because, you know what I mean? I think it's dope. You know what I mean? And so, it could be. It could be. I don't know. People just. I. It's a blessing, bro. Like, nonetheless, I gotta thank God for everything, bro. I said, shout out the man above. Straight up, cause we woke up today, man. We yeah. woke up today. And that's the thing I've been doing consecutive days since I came out the vagina, bro. Waking up consistently, <laughs> consistently, and I plan on making that. Damn, fucking Matt. <laughs> plan on making that shit like <laughs> a world record, man. I'm trying to be Bundy out here kicking it at 147, like you know what I'm saying? Like fuck it, bro. I'm trying to no, be out here. I feel here. you, bro. I feel you, man. But yeah, man. So we here, bro. We live. Oh, day! Look at both cameras, nigga. Oh, I can't look at the other one, but I look at this one. We live, baby. My man Roko in here with chopsticks and shit. Chopsticks. Oh, chopsticks. Don't even know how to work. Chopsticks. Hey, ramen is a beautiful Ooh. thing. I never had ramen until I came out here. Oh man! I remember I, I passed the ramen spot. So I'm like, who the fuck is buying ramen noodles at a fucking business? Get that motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, who's buying the 25 cent a pack of ramen noodles and going to the restaurant to eat it? I mean, right. Eventually, I wanna, I wanna. Uh, Actually, go to you know Koreatown, get my noodles and stuff, and really do it proper. Oh. Cause I was I'm I'm he- I was heavily inspired by the culture of, of like ramen making and stuff like that. They, they put a lot of patience, I mean a lot of love into making noodles. You know they war- roll that shit themselves sometimes. Yeah, or they, they got be the chopping the dough, rolling it. You know what I mean? Spending hours, just you gotta you gotta dive into, into it. it. It's it's like it's a dope it's a dope thing. And sometimes I don't even want to know how the food is made. Just, you know, put it on that plate. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I love I love good food. Man, you can't go wrong. I wish I could just, I like to taste. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to taste. I'm right. at a part right now in my life where, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to be health conscious right, and, like, right, right. try to try to get some abs back and shit like that. You know what right. I'm saying? So I can't just dive into everything like I want to. Nigga, I wanted to eat right. a whole pizza last night at 1 in the morning. You know what right. I'm saying? But I had to say, you know, I just got to drink some water and shut the fuck up. Close right. my eyes. No, absolutely. Dream of good food. Dream of good food. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta, you know, you gotta I definitely be conscious of that. You know, I've been through, you know, different phases of, uh, oh shit, that beard coming back. Mm, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Different phases, you know what I mean, of growing with, with food and understanding, you know, what it does to us, you know, how we mm-hmm. feel, 
based off of what we eat. So definitely got to be aware of that. But, you know, live your life as well, man. Just make sure you stay on it. Yeah. Obesity is a problem. Because, like, I'll be looking at people that's, like, you know, obese, and I'll be like, yo, you just let yourself go. Because it's not, it's not like you just come. It's a process. It is a process to getting that. They'll be giving up, though, on that. The more and more they give up, the more. It's easier to stay in shape than it is to get in shape. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember my dad used to say that shit all the time. Like, it's easier to stay in shape than it right, is to right, get right. in shape. You know, so, yeah. So that's good stuff. And when I stopped hooping. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's Man. like, me personally, I've never been like, I could spend eight hours on a basketball court just working on skill shit, you know right. what I'm saying, or hooping, but when it came to that weight room, bro, like, you know, that shit was too heavy, bro. Like, like I was saying, <laughs> man, I just got back from uh, from hooping yesterday. Like I said, I just got back like I just pulled up from hooping. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, man, if you don't hoop regularly, your ass is going to feel it, bro. And so, it's cool. I don't play basketball like that anymore. I actually went through a whole moment because basketball is my first love, you know what I mean? My first love, bro. Where do I begin? Cruising whenever, whatever, Smokey Robinson. Fitter and better than any pair of my concerns. Leaving her lonely, that feel like my only sin. Yeah. Hey. But I won't leave you alone. But I won't compromise. Hey. But I won't I leave you alone. Yeah. Cruising whenever, whatever. Smokey yeah. Robinson. Robinson. I love it when we're cruising together. Cruising together. Cruising whenever, whatever, Smokey Robinson, Robinson. I love it when we're cruising together, cruising together. But I won't leave you. But I won't compromise. But I won't leave you alone. So, uh, who's a musical influence for you, man? Like a musical influence. Yeah, like who? Who would you say is like? All right, let's say, let's say, if your music was on a playlist, mm-hmm. but with only people that you was growing up listening to, who do you think? Uh, uh, what's a few names you would throw out there? Like who influenced you? You know what I'm saying? As far as that, man. Yes. First and foremost, I'm gonna go in order. I'm gonna say my brother. He was rapping first, huh? That Christian? nigga. That boy. Yeah, they say old. Christian was rapping first. That boy yeah. Cold. For real. So you still say that? That boy cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cold. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right, so so I grew up I grew up watching that dude rap in church, freestyling. He was bro. He, Hold up, he had the spiritual raps too? Oh yeah, bro. He Woo. used to he used to like put on concerts at the church. Like I ain't never nobody's ever seen nothing like that before in our church. So it was like it was it's the craziest thing ever. You know what I mean? I used to read his raps when I was when I was a kid. You know what I mean? My bad. No, you're, you're good. Go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> but I used to read his raps, bro. Um my mom, I would say second. I used to go with um Your mom's a musician too? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh no, shit! Like uh, singing. Like what kind of what kind of? She's a poet. Poetry. Yeah. Oh, so that's where it came from. Y'all just came out like with that with that. She's the reason for piece. everything for sure. Crazy. Damn! Shout out! Uh, shout out, moms! Then. Absolutely. Mo poetic. She sick with the camera. Sick with the poetry. That's what's up. So you so you come from a musical family, man. So you. Uh, yeah. So you grew up with that influence on you and just like. Yeah. Man, that's so crazy. I need to hear Christian's song or something. I need to hear him. <laughs> Hey man, I used to have it on my phone. I ain't got it on my phone no more, but it's somewhere. I'm gonna say when next time I see him, I'm gonna you press have, him. You had to talk to him. <laughs> I'm gonna press him like nigga. I need 
give me nine bars right now. <laughs> nine bars. Nine. Don't rhyme. Nah, yo, he crazy. That's why I wanted to do it, dog, because I don't know how to count bars either. Like, uh, I heard that nigga Nori, uh, you know that one song that uh 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 That's how he counts bars. And Pharrell just kept that shit on the track because it sounded hard. He's like, uh uh uh. Oh, that shit is hard, though. That will be hard. Yeah, bro. I don't think we can hear you, bro. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, man, uh, Roko gonna get on here. We gotta uh, schedule you a interview shit too, man. We gotta get you on the other side of the camera, bro. That's my dog back there. Got he's fanned out right now. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate. Uh, yeah. so what? Who would be a top five? Who'd be your top okay, five? so let's let's get into it, right? If that's what we talking, right? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's my dude, number one for sure. Uh, top five all time is that what we do? All doing? time, who's your top five? No, Wayne, five Wayne, of Wayne them. Right? Oh, Lil Wayne for off top. Um, Biggie. You know, in the top five, realistically. What's like, crazy is he only dropped one album alive. That's wild. Life after death came out there. I just, I just know for a fact that he, he's the coldest. If we want to go personal, are we going personal top five? Or are yes, we going like personal? Not like right. not everybody else's. Just I'm all right. Yeah, I want to know what you, you all right with. for sure. Lil Wayne, Schoolboy Q. Nigga, you did not just say Schoolboy. Yeah. Schoolboy in my top five, nigga. Yeah. Stop playing. When I first moved to LA, I went to Fifty First and Fig right away. Nigga. <laughs> right away. Stayed in the car because there was some people I was like, I ain't know what the fuck they was on. This is tough. This is tough, bro. <laughs> That's crazy tough, though. Bro. I fuck with yeah, that. Yeah, Lil, Lil Wayne, right, Schoolboy Q. Uh, I fuck with Drake, bro. Drake is one of the yeah, people. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a catalog. People. He's got a catalog, bro. Earl Sweatshirt, Kendrick Lamar. Earl? Earl in that bitch? Absolutely. Okay. He was a big influence. Uh, Isaiah Rashad was a big influence. Kid Cudi was a big Dang, influence. Cudi. Uh, you know, a lot of oldies uh, as well. So yeah, man, just uh, man, uh, all the, all the all real niggas that you think definitely. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I love music. I love music, man. I was listening, been listening to all types of shit. Rogo said that makes sense. Hearing his influences, it they can uh, he can hear that in his music. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. MGMT. You know what I mean? What what's that? MGMT. MGMT? You I've know heard it, but what's the song? Electric Feel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm like I know that name, but I was like it's not something I currently like really listen to. Yeah, all types okay, of shit, okay. man. So uh, playing off of that, then who's the who's who's the top five that you would want to collab with? If you had if you had the pull to get anybody, nigga, who's the top five that you want to collab with? Sit in the studio and just. Cook up a song from scratch. M.I.A. P- plain? No M. one I. in the corner if, got swagger like that. If M.I.A. ever hear this, man, like, definitely. M.I.A. is a... Wow. Will be the first that's pick. Nice, that's and nice. And that's going to happen. Damn. Sure. That's going to happen. She still making music? Yeah, she made music. She hard, man. She mm. tight, bro. I just, like... Man, she was super dope. But I remember when uh, M.I.A. <laughs> I remember with uh, what's the name of the song? Uh, Paper Planes. Paper yeah, Planes. Paper yeah planes. so I remember back okay. then is when I was like, people was really like listening. I don't have heard too much of her since. You know what I'm saying? But that shit was crazy back bro, then, bro. She nice, bro. She came out she of nowhere. Right, right. Out of nowhere. With, with some crazy shit. Yeah, she's, she's one of my favorite people, you know, and I think I, I just want to make music with her, bro. I got to. So. A Lil Wayne is off. That would be oh, huge, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That Lil Wayne feature. Um, that's probably it. I mean, really? Just M I M and Lil Wayne? Yeah, it could go. I know it's like it's it's kind of hard getting these questions. You know what I'm saying? That's out of nowhere. You nah, you know, just to really think about it, like obviously, you know, people, J Cole. You know what I mean? I think we can make some beautiful music, man. You know gotta what I mean? Get you in Dreamville, man. Got to get you in that next little uh, session that they got going on. I mean, hey, I mean, hey, 
<laughs> he said I wouldn't turn it down. You know, man. Right. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa, T G O D man. Wiz, Taylor Gang or Die, he yeah. slept with it. Right. Damn. So I remember uh, Wiz and Day to Days like back in 08. Yeah, nine. Wiz my guy, bro. That shit crazy. T G O D man. Fuck. I remember being the only nigga I was around listening to Wiz. I was the only nigga I was around bro. listening to Tyler. Tyler's my guy, bro. Because I heard that shit when it, the bastard, I heard, I was in North Dakota when that shit came out. Nigga. Okay, see, you got some, I think bastard, I don't know if I was really listening to that like that, but he had, he has some select shit for sure. My favorite album is Wolf. Like, he had a lot, Wolf is going crazy. Yeah, I like Wolf. That's Wolf is shit. going crazy. That's my shit. Been to a lot of uh, live Tyler shows. You said Tyler show? Oh, yeah, yeah our future, all types of shit, bro. I've been been to a lot when it was like first starting. That's my guy for sure. Man, I'd have loved to been out here doing because I was our future Wolf Gang to the mall in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, bro. To be honest, to be honest, bro, it was a it was dope watching him there. I would say they're definitely a big influence as well. You know, I think I was like in middle school, something like that, when I seen him on MTV for the first time. That was like a lot of people. Uh, when um, what song won uh? When he ate the cockroach and shit. What's the name right. of that? Huh? That shit was wild. That no, that's not wild, Goblin. Yeah. That's not the name of it. Uh, Yonkers. 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 When Yon- A lot of people, after they heard Yonkers and that won the award and shit, and then people right. started hopping on Tyler and shit like that. But, um, yo, yeah, Tyler's crazy. Tyler, uh, Pharrell, and Kanye are my favorite producers. Pharrell go crazy. Pharrell. Kanye go crazy. You said Kanye, right? Yeah, Kanye. Yeah, it's <laughs> like... <laughs> It's undeniable. How you feeling about what uh, Kanye is going? What, what, what's going on with Kanye right now? Like, so Kanye, I would say, is also one of my favorite artists, man. And I, mm-hmm. I feel like I understand him, you know, as an artist because I'm an artist as well. You know what I mean? So I, I, I get half, you know, uh, where he's at. You know it's what I mean? Honestly, like what's going on with him ain't artistry right now, though. It's a lot of like baby mama drama, uh, Pete Davidson. Uh, From that, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you yeah. about the rest. But I don't. I don't really have no idols. I don't really, you know. I fuck with people, but I ain't never. I don't follow don't people like that. I, I like I mean? that. I like that. You I know, love that you oh, said that shit because shit. people put too much stock in a human being. They do. These are regular people that just do shit that you enjoy. Right. That doesn't mean you should worship them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so at the end of the day, they're yeah. human beings that go Shout through the same that. shit that we That's, do. You know, I learned that very young. You know, my mom taught me I have an artist mind. You know what I mean? And don't idolize people. You know, like that was that was taught, you know, from a young age. So, yeah, man, that's that's don't that's something we gotta keep in mind, man. You know what I mean? Definitely, uh, don't be idolizing niggas, bro. It's just weird. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is, cause especially like how people treat celebrities that don't even fucking know you. You know what I'm saying? It's like wild. it's cool to support people, but you especially if you have people in your life. That you're surrounded around that are dope too, give them the same support, please. Like you know what I'm saying, share their shit. Like you know what I'm saying, like give them the same you know support mean? that you give the, these artists, if these you, celebrities that you don't. And know. it's okay if you don't fuck if you don't fuck with somebody music. Like <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> he said, "Well, your friend, you makes know what I mean?" Trash because music, I, I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just be honest. Bro. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't. He's my best friend. His music's trash and it's fucking. I don't like it. Yeah, that that's I, that doesn't fine. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I ain't gonna come off to that energy or with that energy to yeah. you. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest right now. But I'm you know do your thing, bro. Create. Do what you love. Believe in yourself. Facts. So that uh, shouldn't change. If I fuck with you, that's I, that's what I like about myself. Maybe that's what's what I like because you don't have if you, you can be my own brother, my own anything. You know what I mean? If you don't fuck with my shit, like, you know what I mean? That shouldn't affect our relationship. Like, that's yeah. part of the reason why, you know, music, you know, growing up into music, I never really wanted to do it as much as my brother and my mom. Like, I just knew, I, I just felt like I seen how the effect is on, on how people, you know, look at you or how it could be, you know, yeah. in that perspective. And, uh, it's fu- it's a fucked up thing, man. It's a fucked up thing, you know, for people to look at you as one way, just because of the art that you um, express or the art that you you know put out. When you're just a human being, just you know, I've been sh- I've been shy as fuck my whole life, you know what I mean. So music and all, 
you know, people, you know, showing love is like, it's wild. You know what I mean? To have to use my voice to express it and talk about things that I just wrote, you know, by myself. You know what I mean? In my own zone. You dig? So it's it's wild, bro. It's wild. It is like a a bit of vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, like it's you're crazy, by yourself bro. writing your feelings and your thoughts on the paper, but they end up just being in somebody's car in Minnesota. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that's I think that would be the craziest thought about music for me, you know. And I'd be thinking about that like, damn, you know, I can be in a room, you know, with someone and be not do you know, by myself. You know what I mean? Right. Like and that's the power of words for me. That's the power of inspiration. Because if you have that opportunity, you know, I, I made a promise to God, nigga. I said, if I ever have an opportunity to make music, um, you know, it's going to be about something that's uplifting. It's going to be about something that's going to, you know, inspire the people. Sustenance. You feel me? It's going to have to be that. No fluff shit. So. But I've been saying, what uh, what was the inspiration behind Warren three thousand four? Is that uh, is that how you say it? Yeah, Warren, Warren three thousand four. Shout out to Alpha Music, man. Shout out to Spotify. It's just crazy. <laughs> Go check that shit out. They don't fuck with your uh capitalization. They don't fuck with punctuation, bro. It's a, supposed to be a, a a lowercase n, so you can separate it. It's fucked up. Oh yeah, so it's all know, capitalized. You gotta see a nigga write it. You see it on on different uh, things the way it's supposed to, so you can understand how to say oh, it. Oh, so it'd be war in three thousand four. War in three thousand four. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. So Spotify, Apple Music, get y'all shit together, nigga, because y'all done fucked up the whole album. Like it's war in three. Th- it's war in three thousand four. But indubitably. Like, yeah, they got it all capitalized, and it makes me think it's war in three thousand. You know, it's cool. However you want to read it, it could it could be called. The, whatever, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah. What was the inspiration behind making that? Like, how long were you? Uh, how long was that Dude, in development? For years, man. For years. And so it was. It was the funnest. One of the funnest things ever. You know what I mean? To to have experienced that that process, bro. Um, from right. You know, I'm I'm trying to think of like where. That's where nah, that graphic right. design comes in, man, because the art where the cover art for Warren three uh, three thousand four is crazy. You know what I mean? So it it start there's lots of pockets of inspiration for this album. And I I'll definitely am gonna i I'll run down through, you know, them all the best I can, but <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. That's why I just hold my shit right here. I just be like, I mean, but nah, bro, so first and foremost, John Lennon, um, and Yono Oko, they had a campaign back in the day uh, called uh, War is Over. Really? Right, they had a campaign. It was like, you know, uh, type shit. Uh, you know, y'all can Google it. And yeah, I'm not it. too, I don't know much about John Lennon, bro. That's just surprised the shit out of me. That wasn't the first name I expected you to say, bro. John Lennon and Yoko Ono. I've heard a lot about them, yeah. but I haven't really dove into uh, them myself. Yes. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. You know, this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop a lot of beautiful knowledge here, man, because... This is what's inspired. Like, get into stuff. You know what I mean? Get into um, people that you think are dope. You know what I mean? John Lennon is one of the dopest people ever to me. You know what I mean? Just because, I don't know. Have you heard Imagine? What? Maybe. But I can't, like, put my I can't put, <laughs> put my finger on what song it is right now. Like, Imagine I'm a, all like, like a, the people. That shit go crazy. That is that song. You know what? I'm going I'm to uh, listen to some John Lennon on the way home. That should go crazy, bro. So, I don't know. So, him and his girl, Yoko, she's a crazy artist, too. Um, they had this campaign called Wars Over, and it was a concept that they were just making a statement, you know, on peace. You know, they just wanted peace, you know, all around the world. And so, it was a statement. So, War in 2004, you know, my kind of train of thought based off of, um, you know, kind of looking into that and being inspired by their art, um, it was just a concept that war you know, it really ain't never going to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whether it be now or or in 3004, you know what I mean? Or beyond that. Just because as long as I feel like, you know, human beings are here, you know, um, it's just, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah that's fact. So War has been in civilization since civilization existed. Right. And, um, you know, the whole thing is, my whole thing is, what I got from it in conclusion is to, you know, 
pick your side. You know which which side you want to be on. You know what what do you want to give into the world? You know, do you want to be spreading peace? Do you want to be inspiring? You know, be a solid soldier for your people, man. Um, and on that note, that's where the the Black Panther comes from. The Third Eye Black Panther that um, you know plays into it as well. Mm. You know, also was inspired. I love that by logo. I love that logo. Also was inspired by um, you know people like Angela Davis, Queen, the Black Panther Party, man, Huey Newton, the All In. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, just to just to uh, go into it a little more. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, oh. we just hear somebody randomly coming in and shit. What one up, love, OG? One love. Yeah. So, the way that it worked is um, if you look at the Black Panther, um, you know, logo. It's just um, you know the head of the Black Panther with the extra eye on it, right? And that just that just really inspired me because at the time that I was writing a lot of that album, you know there was a lot of uh, you know racial stuff going on in the world. Yeah. So um, I just really wanted I really needed to I was just express myself, but I was really sad, bro, about all that shit. Just seeing that, you know what I mean? That shit was foul, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, how people can be just so cruel, you know what I mean? It's crazy. And so, yeah, it was that. Um, it was uh, about love to, you know, war, war with yourself. You know what I mean? War with uh, different relationships that you got and shit. Um, and so, yeah, four years, pretty much was writing the album for four years. And it was, I didn't even really plan it like that as far as the words. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. words, this is just how I felt, you know, throughout, you know, most of the year, you dig like, yeah. and it's just, it was what it was. So with that, the album was done. I'm listening. I was I was listening to it for probably two years. Just how did you know it. the album was done though? Like, if you're working on something for that long, you know what I'm saying. How do you know it was finally ready to be put out? I enjoy it. He said, "Hey, I was listening to that shit." Yeah. I said, hey, <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> it's about uh, time. Yeah, I enjoy it. So. I was loving, I was loving every step of the process, bro. Mm. Loving every step of the process. So, yeah, it was easy to um, just kind of chill and just create and uh, just do how I felt, you know, trusting my intuition and all that. But, yeah, man. To my nigga, no, bro, no, can't. no. It's a, <laughs> that camera right there. For some reason, it cuts off after thirty minutes. So it's like uh, it's thirty-one minutes. So yeah, you gotta snap that back on. You know, as the process keeps going with this podcast, yeah. I'll have people behind that camera. Like they don't I'll know right now. Shot. Ain't nobody behind <laughs> these mics. <laughs> Roku, cool, man. Yeah, yeah, this nigga just dipped off yeah. and shit. Uh, nah, man. Yeah, bro. So with that, I just uh, I don't know. After you have so many songs, you're like, all right, you know. uh I think I think it's good, and then you know I just got into um, illustration and and more and just really elaborating on making art pieces off of me being inspired by the album. You know what I mean? Because that shit really inspired me, like for real. And so I put myself in in, in different shoes, you know, and just drew it out what it made me feel, you know. And so uh, shout out my dude Jiggy as well because I hit him up to help me with like the juggernaut. Uh, kind of robot looking dope dude yeah, that's on the uh, front good. cover. Uh, you can put that shit on sweatshirts, man. I need to get me some merch, dog. Yeah. I w- hey, nigga, let me tell you how mad I was that I missed out on that jacket. <laughs> let me tell you how mad I was, nigga. So I woke up, right? That yeah. was the first thing I seen on Instagram, <laughs> like when I'm taking my little morning shit, right? I'm like, all right, ooh, <laughs> only a hundred. What the fuck, man? I'm about, I got off the toilet, right? Went to go get my card, and that shit was sold. I was so fucking mad, bro. That jacket was crazy, dog. Man, that I jacket was it. crazy, bro. I was so mad. I, I like Chris. You can ask Chris when you see her, bro. Like I was Damn. upset I didn't get that jacket, Damn. bro. Damn, because I was just stuck on that toilet. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> In my little morning oh, shit, bro. I was oh, like, fuck. Shit. Nah, it was that. It was that. I dropped it like kind of early, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I was it was in the morning, like, nigga. That's what yeah. I said. Like, <laughs> I right. had just woke up, and that was the first thing. And nobody, and I feel like I was like one of the first three or four people to even see that post. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. like, 
I was like, fuck, I had to go get my card. By the time I did, that shit damn. was gone. I got to get you some, I got, I got some special shit for you. Fuck with you me, dog. Fuck I got, with me, man. This, this is my first I interview get. ever, man. So I got to have some special shit for you. Fuck this me, is dog. Dope, I really bro, appreciate it. Because sure. all that shit, all that merch and shit is crazy, bro. You know, I and I wear, it. I would much rather wear the homie shit than anybody else's. I feel like, you it, You know what I'm saying? I, I got a homie that uh, has a store called Good Mood and shit like that. You'll Good always mood. see me in the fucking sweatpants and word, word. the hoodies and the yeah. bags and shit like right, that. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, bro. I appreciate that, bro. You and know people I mean? always love. ask me about what I have on, too. Like, right, you know right, right. Like, yo, what the fuck? Good Mood. What the fuck is that's that? A, that's like, some dope shit. Yeah. I'm in a good mood all right, the time. Exactly. Most of the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Try to stay shit. on one. You feel so how, um, because, like, one of my, literally, like, Man, I, I listened to this song four or five times in a row, man. You just dropped this shit. I don't know no more. Why? Uh, how did that not end up on the album? Like, what, what made you think? Because, like, question. you've been working on that shit for a while, bro. I yeah, heard yeah, that, yeah. that beat, like, a couple yeah. years ago, and I was like, yo, when you gonna drop that? Hey, is that camera still good? Yeah, we still good. Yo. But uh, what was uh, what made you drop that I, as a I single miss, instead I of I miss my guy being in the room. Like, this guy needs to be in the room. Yeah, Rocco, my dog. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Cowboy. See you over there, brother. Yeah, OG. But yeah, now how did that end up just being a single instead of just being on the album? Bro, that's that's a really good that's a really good question because um it was it was going to be on the album when it had intended to be on the album for a long time. Uh but yeah, just the mix it wasn't hitting right for me compared mm. to all of the rest of them. Um but when I listen to your album, like it just me just trying bad. to think, like where would that song be put into in your album? I too? can tell you exactly right. Uh, it was probably like, oh, tell me, it's it's towards the end of the album. Let me see. I gotta Man, see. I, it. I gotta you got see. The, it. You got the family. You got Dream On. Like I'm like, yo, when is that? I don't know. Like I feel like I don't know if you was gonna probably put that like on the around album. like after Dream On. Because it would have been crazy oh, if you just kind of did, like, hey, oh shit. some kind of, like, interlude or something between that. Like, you know what I'm saying? There was, a lot, there was a few there was a few songs I took off of it. For real? There was a few. It was, yeah. like, four or five. Damn. And it's 13 tracks I on the album. I at, po- at one point. Really? Damn. You don't see that too much off, too, uh, too much anymore. I fucked with all of them. I'm about to drop, I'm about to drop the rest of them, too. Because there was, like, 19 that I, I just couldn't. Drop an EP? Put the yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah. on there. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> so, oh no! Nah. Oh yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. <sighs> Cause man, we you can't be going. You know what I'm saying. I know you're nah, dropping drop. every now, but you can't I'm be going no t- couple years without dropping. That nah, shit, you know, see that's not gonna happen again. Yeah, that's not gonna happen again. And that's a good topic because uh, I really I, they call me Grandpa from where I'm from. They call you Grandpa. Yeah, as a nickname. And just so you so you can know who I am a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, I like to take my time, man. <laughs> I like to take my time. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's in it real slow. You know what I mean? Like, take my time. Take too much time, man. Like, <laughs> it's so it's like. Right. And with that, I was also, this is what I really wanted to say as well. I was also, you know, really just trying to be the best person I could be first. Like, really get that down. You know what I mean? First. You working on your self care. Right. Before you put yourself out there. Right. So bars. That's a big bar. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that. Take that, bro. Take that. Take that bar. I wouldn't even ask for none, man. I don't even want no songwriting credits. You know what I'm saying? That's just a bar. That's a life bar right there, bro. It's, it's about to feel, and you know, there's that song actually inspired another song, which you know you can put piece different other things, piece piece shit together. You know what I mean? I got some shit coming in the summer. You gonna turn you gonna have a few months. It's gonna, it's gonna be a dope one. Front row. It's gonna be a dope one. Yeah, let's get it, man. You know, me and my boy MX about to drop some, about to drop a uh, EP. Did he perform at something dope too? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. I yeah. Remember, he was cold. Y'all, man, that whole night was crazy, bro. No, that shit. Like, I just yeah, remember, like, dope. during your set, I was supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be behind the camera, nigga. I was in the front row. Like, I was, like, right up on the stage just, yeah, yeah. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. The energy, you know what I'm saying? I've always said, like, yo, uh, 
you know what I'm saying? I don't see you that often. Like, when's the last time I seen you? Or whatever? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But, like, I listen to your shit, and I actually support you, because, like, I feel like you a dope artist, you know what I'm saying? Dope individual. I appreciate it. So, like, I feel like, man, I'm like, yo, Dope Cow, with his, like, style, his songs and shit, bro, this nigga could go crazy if, like, he gets, uh, yeah, if he goes, if he gets the right opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. It's, yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. I need more consistency from Dope Cow. Oh, yeah. So, with that, so Cow. with that, yeah, Interview it's, gonna you know, come out, all that shit, yeah, bro. no, most definitely, man. It's, um, you, we definitely gonna see it. We definitely gonna see it. That's what I love to hear, man. That's what I love to hear, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I love artists that, because like you said, it is about vulnerability. Like, it's, it, sometimes it can be kind of hard to put your shit out there. No, nah, see, it's not, not, I wouldn't, no, nah, it's not like that. It's not like that. You know what I mean? All, all going back to the cornerstone of, you know, I, I practice to be a good person, you know, first. You know, I think that's more important. You know what I mean? Like, practice, you know, meditation, practice, you know, strengthening my mind because I know how ta- I know how good I am. You know what I mean? I know my pain is strong. I know if I really put my mind to shit, like, it's going to be, like, it's going to be really good. Mm. You know? Uh, that's just, you know, I don't mean to sound, you know, wild, but that's just, that's just, you know, really how I be feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah, talk your shit, bro. Like, cause, uh, cause people need to have strong, a strong vision of self. They need to have a strong understanding of themselves before they can do anything else. Like, how are you gonna present yourself to everybody else if you don't know who the fuck you are? I got superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> you got superpowers? Oh uh, shit! Hey, random question: If you had one superpower, what would it be? I don't know. Uh. That's a tough one, man. Probably uh, telekinesis. I don't Ooh, know. Ooh, you want to just yeah? Like no, no, no. Professor is that what that is? No, no, no. Telekinesis. I don't. I don't. I don't, don't want to like, do that. I'd rather. I'd rather uh, uh, teleport. There we go. Teleport. That's my shit. Yeah, that's all I say yeah, every yeah, time. Cause uh, fuck traffic. Boop, fuck a flight. Out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's that what we do. Or whatever. Yeah, like he just like visualize a place and he's there. Right. He's just there. That shit crazy, bro. Be back. But somebody just said in my last interview, he said. Oh my God! How do I say this? Uh, power of influence. Yeah. So you could just walk up to somebody like, you listen to my music all the time, and just you know what I'm saying, just like, uh, <laughs> and you, whatever you say, they're gonna do. Like you walk in the bank, be like, yo, let me get ten thousand dollars because it's really mine. I don't even know why it's here. <laughs> 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 and they just give it to you, like you know what I'm saying. That's a wild I mean, shit. Hey, that I, w- I would and like I had to never see. Said it, heard anybody say that shit before, bro? I'm like, fuck. I mean, to a certain extent, I feel like, you know, the power of influence is definitely true. Mm. You know, we see it all the time. We see, you know. Yeah. In the worst ways sometimes, too, man. That's what's fucked up about it because there's so many sheep out here, man. That is so true. So many followers. And it really fucks up the world, man. It's just I don't want to get too deep into it because that's a rabbit hole that we could just fall into. You know what I'm saying? So and on a on contrast, I'm just going to ask you, what do you think the world will look like in 50 years, bro? What's your vision for this? What planet? fifty years? Yeah, we still gonna be here, man. We gonna still I'm gonna be, be what seventy? Man, I'm finna be eighty. I'm be seventy six. He said seventy. Seventy. He already got the old voice down and said seventy six. Fuck, man. Yeah, I'll be fucking eighty two. What it's gonna look like? All right, seventy six. I'm finna be uh. <laughs> man, I'm about to be looking like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> you <and> Samuel L. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, do you think, like, healthcare is going to be crazy? They're going to be able to, like, by that time, are they going to be able to keep people alive, like, longer? Are they going to be, like, or is shit still going to be greedy to where it's more about money than, like, actually caring oh, about man. people? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that answer neither, too, bro, because it's I like, you, you could have, like, an opinion and maybe it's just fucking crazy, bro. Fuck, man, it's like... There's lots of twists and turns. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Mm. You know, I may have a um, a certain look on how it's been. It can get wild, but real niggas live forever, you know, so there's always going to be a dope balance. And, you know, there's dope people, like the biggest influences, influencers of the world that we talk about, people like dope people like Kid Cudi who are genuinely good people. You know, people like Schoolboy, Jay Z, who do dope things for the community. You know what I mean? NBA stars who do dope things. People like LeBron. People like you know. Yeah. There's but those aren't the people that we have in charge, though. 
it's the not. That but we have in charge of people that are more like I feel like are more like. And that's gonna be the other side of things. You know what I mean? If if that's how that's going to be, if we don't, you know, have more people in that field, then it's it's gonna be like it's gonna be this balance. It's gonna you're just gonna keep seeing the same shit. You know, like it's not too many things that are new in the world. You know what I mean? Right. You gonna see the same shit, probably just in different forms, you know, different fashions. The new, let me not get into it like that, but <laughs> you know what I, I mean. Say, like it's easy to fall down these rabbit holes and just like thinking about like what it, what's gonna be like what. Yeah, you know what I mean. In the eighties, thought we had flying cars by now. Like you know what I'm saying. Hey, like, I think we do. I think we do. I don't need, no, nigga, niggas can't even drive on the ground, and we talking about flying and shit. Stop playing. I don't know. I mean, I, I ain't seen. I don't want it. I, I mean, I don't want to fly. I was even, I was, somebody asked me, yo, you want Superman powers? I'd be that. You remember, uh, you want uh, to fly? Bruh, I don't fuck with heights like that. You remember, uh, Meteor <laughs> Man? <laughs> Do you remember the movie Meteor Man? Have you ever seen that? No, yeah. All right, I so see it's that. the first black superhero movie. It was Robert Townsend in the early 90s. Like, okay, you know okay, okay. Superpowers Who the fuck is meteor. Robert Townsend? See, you got to look that shit up. You're too young. All right, All right so, uh, <laughs> he's like, you look it. But uh, I'm telling you, watch Meteor Man, bro. It's cold. It's cold as fuck. It's like a hood superhero I'll movie. Fuck with him. I'll fuck he with gets him. powers and he can fly and shit. But you see this nigga flying like car <laughs> level and shit. He's like, he starts okay. off. Meteor he builds Man. up to it. Meteor, Meteor Man, Man, dog. Like straight up. I'm it's got of, a I'm like Eddie Griffin in it and shit like that. Like, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna fuck movie. with it. I'm gonna fuck with it. Yeah, it was a Meteor first Man. black superhero movie. What? It's a black. It was a black superhero. Yeah, Robert Townsend's black. It's in a black neighborhood fighting a black gang. Like all that shit, bro. Like you should have started off with that. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I said it. Maybe I did. Damn. But no, nah, yeah, check that shit out, no, bro. I like, definitely. see, cause that progression that he did, like this nigga was flying like street level. Hey, guys. I definitely gotta watch like, that. Out, right? What? Yeah, that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably cool. watch that when I get back to the crib. Right. Please. That's a Netflix. And watch the movie Snatch too. That's in my top five. You ever Snatch. seen that? Okay. Snatch with Brad Pitt. This nigga's a gypsy. You don't understand nothing he's saying and shit. For that's real. Hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna tap in. I love that fucking movie, man. It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Guy it's based Ritchie. in like uh, uh, England and shit, bro. That shit's fucking crazy. Guy bro. Ritchie. Hey, you know, I'm a champion. I'm a time nigga. You got me some snatches. <laughs> <laughs> what's one thing you want to get out into the world, bro? Like, lastly, you know what I'm saying? Before we close this podcast down, like, what's something that you want to get out into the world? What's something you want to change? Like, what's the imprint that you want to leave as Dope Cow, as Cody, about this bitch before you leave the earth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought of that right now. That's a heavy ass question. Yeah. Uh <coughs> Yeah, to love one another, man. It's all it's about love. It really is, man. So we yeah. come into this world from love most of the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. there's different emphases, but that's the number one thing, man. Understand one another. You did like understand one another, love one another, man. Show love. God damn Can we it. Show you some love for popping on this podcast, bro. I really appreciate yes, you, sir, man. Much love. We're I appreciate this shit, man. For real, this was tight, man. My dog, man. We gonna tight. get you back on, man. You know what I'm saying? We can uh, cause I even plan on having co-hosts and shit like that. Whoa, like, whoa. Uh, surprise guest co-host. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Come on, co-host sometime too. Hey, you know, I, I <laughs> I'm not really a podcaster. You it's know your what I mean? first one, right? I'm not. I'm not really. You know, I'm not really into to podcasting like that. I think you should be, bro. You got a lot to yeah. say, and a pod having a podcast, like, or even if it's not your podcast, if you want to just come on the mic, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with you. I'll just tap chest, in. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying that you probably couldn't get off in a song or in an interview. You know what I'm saying? That is so true. Take advantage, man. If you want to come by and fuck with me. My nah, nigga, bro. Always, bro. Always. Man. All right. Tell these people where they can find you on Instagram and everything like that. Dope cow, man. D O P E C A L, man. Go listen to everything on Spotify, Apple Music, all that all shit. All that shit. Right up. And that has been another edition of One on One with Bunny McBuckets, man. We out this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah.